Good morning. Today is June 27, 2017. The time is 11.03 a.m. We are at 100 Church Street in New York City on the second floor. Welcome today to today's meeting of the New York City Business Integrity Commission. I'm Noah Janelle, Deputy Commissioner of Legal Affairs and General Counsel for the Commission. And I'm joined by the following Commission members. Daniel Brownell, Commissioner and Chair of the Business Integrity Commission. Department of Sanitation Commissioner Catherine Garcia, Department of Investigation Commissioner Mark Peters, Department of Consumer Affairs Commissioner Lorelei Salas, Deputy Commissioner for Legal and Regulatory Affairs Andrew Schwartz of the Department of Small Business Services, representing SBS Commissioner Greg Bishop, and New York City Police Department Deputy Inspector Dominic DeRazio, representing Police Commissioner James O'Neill. Today, the Commission will be considering two applications, both of which the Commission staff has recommended be denied. The applicants were each served with a notice of grounds to recommend the denial of their applications. The applicants were advised that they had 10 business days to submit a sworn written response to the Commission. As is the Commission staff's practice, the staff granted reasonable requests for an extension of the response date. On June 14th, 2017, I emailed to the Commission members the recommended denial decision regarding the applications at issue, as well as any responses submitted by the applicants. There have been no material changes made to any of the recommended denial decisions. I will now review the grounds cited for both recommended denials. For each application, the Commission members will vote as to whether or not to adopt the staff's recommendation to deny the application. A vote of yes is a vote to adopt the staff's recommendation. A vote of no is a vote not to adopt the recommendation. The first application to be considered is the registration renewal application of La Bella Vista Industries, BIC number 3460, to operate as a trade waste business. The staff attorney in charge of this application is Deputy General Counsel John Curry. The commission staff recommends denial of this application based on the following two grounds as fully set forth in the staff's recommendation. One, the applicant's sole principal was recently convicted of the crime of scheme to defraud in the first degree, a Class E felony. And two, the applicant's sole principal has recently committed a racketeering activity. Do any of the commissioners have any questions or comments regarding this application? Seeing none, is there a motion from the commissioners to adopt the staff's recommendation? Second. Is there a second? Second. How do the members vote, yes or no? Yes. 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 Let the record reflect that the vote is unanimous. The second and last application to be considered today is the registration application of NYC Top Line Construction and Management Inc., BIC number 491145, to operate as a trade waste business. The staff attorney in charge of this application is former Assistant General Counsel Lee Naren. The Commission staff recommends denial of this application based on the following two independently sufficient grounds as fully set forth in the staff's recommendation. One, the applicant's sole principal was convicted of falsifying business records in the second degree. And two, the applicant provided false information to the commission in the registration application. Do any of the commissioners have any questions or comments regarding this application? Is there a motion from the commissioners to adopt the staff's recommendation? Is there a second? And how did the members vote? but the record reflect that the vote is unanimous. I believe Commissioner Brownell wanted to make a, a statement about the La Bella Vista denial. So as noted in the denial for Bella Vista, in November of 2015, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office announced the indictments of 44 individuals and nine companies involved in massive systemic fraud in the heating oil supply industry that was exposed by uh, detectives from the NYPD, investigators from the Business Integrity Commission, investigators from DOI, substantial assistance from inspectors from DCA, 
um, great help from BSNY. It looks like the only one that didn't help was SPS. It didn't help us in other ways. But, but seriously, it was a very large investigation. Um, and the defendants in those schemes rigged their heating oil trucks to allow them to steal from their own customers. Gennaro Notrasano, the sole principal of the Bella Vista, was one of those indicted in the heating oil scam along with his two uncles who ran G&D Petroleum Industries Inc. Notrasano was a driver uh, for that, for G&D, and he pleaded guilty uh, to defrauding his customers, which he admitted in his allocution he did for a three-year period uh, between October of 2012 and 2015. He has been sentenced to a split sentence of six months and five years probation and must pay back thousands of dollars in forfeiture. This case demonstrates that BIC, when I say BIC, I mean the whole commission, everyone sitting here will not allow the corruption that is rampant in the heating oil supply industry to bleed over and into the trade waste industry for the, that for the last 20 years has worked very hard along with the city to make that industry a much better industry. As of now, because there is no licensing structure regulating the heating oil supply industry, no Trasano, and in fact all the defendants that have pleaded guilty in these cases, could go right back to work in the heating oil supply industry. But he will not find a home in the trade waste industry. And if the city council passes intro number 1268, which proposes placing the heating oil supply industry under Vic Commission's regulation, no Trasano, other fraudsters like him will no longer be welcome in that industry either. Thank you, Commissioner. So that concludes the matters before the Commission today. I ask the members of the Commission to sign the denial decisions that have been voted today. And thank you to the Commission members for your participation in today's meeting and to the members of the Commission staff for your hard work on these matters. And thank you also. Um, to any members of the public who have attended or are watching on our YouTube channel. Thank you, that concludes the meeting.